Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Explore Gadgets and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful 2019 and today I have with me 20 awesome Android games to start off 2019. So without any further delay, let's get this started. So first up we have Chronicles of the Himalayas. This is an adventure and mystery experience set in the Himalayan wilderness. Hidden from the eyes of the common folks, you peek into the extraordinary world where the reality, folklore, and magic come together. The visuals in this game is simply outstanding with the low poly style, and the music fits perfectly with the visuals. Currently, only the demo is available to play, but it will be soon released this year. Information about this game is in the description below, so do check it out. Next up we have Luca the Dreamer. This story revolves around Luca, an old worn out ball who knows very little about the world. He then embarks on a journey to reach the most famous footballers in the world in the most important football event of the year. Now he has to overcome all obstacles in his path and solve puzzles to reach his goal and travel from country to country. This game makes a perfect combination of puzzle and platform genres, and the visuals are very cute and the controls are also amazing. Now next up we have PUBG Mobile. I am pretty sure you're familiar with this game, because it's pretty popular, but for the people who don't know what this game is about, it's a battle royale type game that pits you against 99 other players in a heart pounding survival scenario, where you'll need to scavenge for loot, explore the map, and stay in safe zones while taking out your competition. Next up we have Asphalt 9 Legends. This time Asphalt 9 focuses squarely on racing. The objective is to win each season of races. Thankfully you won't be aiming for pole position in every event. You'll be tasked with escaping from the cops, to beating the clock for the best timing, or completing stunts. There is enough variety to keep you going. And Asphalt 9 does a fantastic job of making you feel you're making tangible progress with every session you play. Next up we have Faraway 4 Ancient Escape. Snapbreak's Faraway games are one of the better escape room series on the Play Store, and Faraway 4 Ancient Escapes takes players to an all new environment that is broken up into 20 all new levels. And you can expect to find plenty of challenging puzzles. The overarching story still has to do with your father and many pages of his missing journal. So there is nothing much new here, but luckily the gameplay, graphics and music are great. Next up we have Monster Hunter 2. This is a part platformer, part turn based strategy and part puzzle game. But here's the fun part, the game's time only flows when you move. So you'll have to move your character with the swipe of your finger, swipe up to jump and you'll have the opportunity to move left, right or shoot and then promptly fall while time flows until you hit a floor. And in the way you'll have to kill vampires with wooden sticks. Next up we have Life is Strange. Life is Strange was a resounding success, 
one of the top 100 best selling games on Steam in 2016. And it is finally out on the Play Store. The game centers around Max, a high school student who just recently moved back to her hometown of Arcadia Bay. When she sees a girl get shot by a fellow student, Max discovers that she can rewind time, allowing her to change what happened and save the girl, Max's former best friend Chloe. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Next up, we have Alto's Odyssey. Alto's Odyssey trades in the bright, snowy, and colorful palette of the first game for a much warmer, darker environment. The desert, while stunningly gorgeous, feels harsher and less forgiving than the slopes Alto's used to, and the new landscape provides a plethora of new challenges for players to discover. If you liked Alto's Adventure, then downloading Alto's Odyssey is a no-brainer. You are getting everything you loved about the first game in a more robust and polished package. So first up, we have Man or Vampire. There is no doubt that Man or Vampire is a gorgeous looking game. The art design of this strategy RPG is unmatched on Android. And the gameplay is also amazing and easy to get used to. It's also free to play. And the strategies used to clear this game is good. So if you dig gorgeous graphics and strategic gameplay, you may want to give this a try. Next up, we have The Sims. Sims is a simulator game where you become an avatar and live your daily life. Although this game is very popular on PC, Android has finally got it, and it is good. And if you've got time to spare or just killing time, this is the perfect game to play. Next up, we have Catbird. Is that a cat? Is that a bird? It's a Catbird. In this game, you control a weird but cute animal called Catbird. It's got a face of a cat, but it has wings and can fly. But it cannot stay in the air for long. So you will need to guide it to safety, clearing the obstacles in the path. The objective is simple, but the obstacles are fairly hard. So you guys will have a great time playing this game. Next up, we have Oddman. Oddman is an odd game. You'll have to fight your opponents on Arena, whose landscape changes every time. And the fights are very short and swift. And the objective here is you control your character and have to push your opponents back into the water. And you can control your characters with simple swipes, which is very easy to do. Next up, we have Paco 2. The controls are very simple. Your car drives forward automatically. You press the left side of the screen to turn left and press the right side to turn right. And if you press both of them, you will come to a stop and start reversing. And the goon inside your vehicle fires automatically at the host of police cars that are chasing you. If you take too much damage, then you will explode. And finally, your cash total is totaled up and then you will jump back for another run.
Next up, we have Slint. Slint is a gorgeous point-and-click adventure game where you are tasked with solving environmental puzzles. It shows a lot of promise. Though it can be tough to figure out what you do when there is no text to the game, there is absolutely no hand-holding here, which may turn off more than a few people. There's also no story to be found, means it's up to you to create your own fun. But that's the best part. You'll have to explore your way out of this game. Next up, we have Badland Brawl. If you're familiar with mobile MOBAs, you would know that battles take place in flat planes. There will be options to move up and down, but for the most part, everything is in a straight line. The same concept is there in Badland Brawl, but it throws a new idea into the mix. The units you send out to battle are set on a catapult, and you can throw them in the air and get them to land exactly where you want it to be. It's a unique concept, but it plays out great. Next up, we have Old School RuneScape. RuneScape was originally released all the way back in 2001, when the gaming world was still figuring out what an MMORPG actually was. And this plays like many other MMORPGs, because it was one of the bricks in the foundation of the entire industry. Old School RuneScape is absolutely phenomenal. It's real easy to hop into, and do a few tasks to get some skill ups, and jump right out. And the game also controls reasonably well. All I have to say is, all you MMORPG fans cannot miss out on this game. Next up, we have Pocket Build. Pocket Build is a world builder that lets you add buildings and landscapes without the usual constraints of scores, goals, or dangerous beasts. Pocket Build is more than just a city builder though. It's a fantasy sandbox game where really the only limit is your imagination. Next up, we have Assassin's Creed Rebellion. There is a lot to do in the game, a storyline full of missions where you take down a Spanish Templar leader, daily challenges, and plenty of free chances to add more heroes to your roster. And you can also pay for some heroes if you like to speed things along. Next up, we have Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. This is an action RPG that lets players collect teams of characters from classic cartoons. Each character has its own strengths and weaknesses, along with some hilarious fighting abilities. You may see it as a time waster, but once you dive into the title more, you will soon realize how much fun it really is.
Next up, we have Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars is a team-based top-down shooter at heart. Mixed in with the sort of progression and loot boxes you've come to love or hate from the both Clash games. Brawl Stars' action is immediately accessible, and its real-time PvP doesn't intimidate, and the style and charm are through the roof. Well that was it for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming contents. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman, signing out.